Recently, Andre and Paul, our professional race car driver, had the chance to take the brand new Fiat 124 Spider, the Abarth, around our test track to find out if it's hot or not. Now, this car is the so-called Fiat because it is built on the same assembly line as the Mazda Miata. In fact, the biggest difference between the two cars is that the Miata has a 2-liter normally aspirated engine, while the Fiat Spider 124 uses the Fiat 500's Abarth turbocharged engine. I'm so happy to be back at our IMI Motorsports test track because it's another hot or not episode. Yay! And we have a 2017 Fiat 124 Spider, a Bart. Is that how you say a Bart? That's how you say it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the big question is, is it slower or faster than a Miata? We tested the Miata a few months ago. Yeah, we did. And the Miata was almost perfectly suited for our little tight test track and, and ran really, really well. The only downside maybe was that it was naturally aspirated, which gets hurt at altitude. So maybe this car is the best of both worlds. Let's see how it does. Under the hood, we have a 1.4 liter turbocharged motor with 164 horsepower, actually four more than in the standard Spider, and 184 pound-feet of torque, and the torque comes in a little bit lower in that part. Yeah, it's an interesting little engine. Obviously, for, for us in America, it is tiny. It's like the thing that you would have running your aquarium, maybe, or something like that. Here, with a turbocharger, and especially at altitude, um, I'm curious to see whether this engine feels even stronger than the Miata naturally aspirated larger engine. You want to show them the turbo? I mean, show me the turbo. It's a Garrett, right? It's, it's a good. Garrett. It's good stuff. It's just all like tiny. You get to zoom way in, you know, to actually see all this stuff. So it's this, the engine's just like this length here, and that's it, and a little turbocharger. But again, the, you, the horsepower and the torque numbers don't lie in such a light car. It should be pretty quick. What tires are on this? Uh, Potenza's. 1.4 liters of turbocharged Fury. <laughs> the 124 Spider. Just a silly little white car. But I can hold flat almost everywhere. more than the engine but uh, the little turbocharged 1.4 liters should be quite good even at a mile above sea level a little bit softer maybe than the Miata but all those same basic you know kind of good stuff that the Miata has here's the secret guys we tested the Miata a few months ago, last year, and it ran this exact track in 1 minute 7.17 seconds. Whee! Having fun in the Miata! These cars I can take flat out across the hill. <laughs> Some of the other cars you can't. As far as chassis and handling and feel, predictability. And a little tiny engine. And on the straightaway we go. Fun little lap. I mean, it's good. Really well balanced. It's what you'd expect, right? So remember the Miata last year? Yes. That was a long time ago. It was a long time ago. Well, the Miata did this lap in 1 minute 7.17 seconds. How do you think you did here? I think it's in the ballpark. It, it seems like it has maybe a little bit more uh, engine because it's turbocharged at altitude, so that helps it a bit. Um, but it has a little less handling, so it'll actually maybe be interesting to see where it lands. 1 minute... 8 seconds, point oh two. Okay, so a little bit about almost three quarters of a second slower yeah, than the Miata. Yeah, and you, this car is a little heavier too. Well, I think all those things come into play. I don't think it's on an aggressive attire. Um, the suspension seems to be a little bit softer. 
and you're get, but you're getting a little bit of help from having a, a, a turbocharged engine at an altitude. So here's the big question. You know, this car is pretty fun on the highway and in the canyon, but from a motorsports perspective on a test track, is it hot or not? Well, it's, it's an interesting question. I think like we always test, these days it seems like we test really good cars and so we're always just kind of going hot, this is hot, this is hot, this is hot. And and I, I do think this car is hot, but I, it almost reminded me of that Scoville scale for, for chili peppers. Uh -huh. It's like, how hot is it? Is it ghost pepper hot? Is it jalapeno hot? Is it habanero hot? You know, kind of thing. Okay, where is it? This one's, it's still hot, but it's more like down in the habanero because it's, it's uh, or maybe even jalapeno. So it's a little bit lower down um, than something that's more track oriented. So it's still a wonderful car to drive on the track, but compared to the Miata, it's softer, it's more rolly. Uh, it's not as direct as the Miata, but then it has an advantage of that turbocharged engine, that little engine that looked like an aquarium pump. Uh -huh. actually worked pretty good at altitude and the car was quicker on the track. So, so a hot little car, a really fun canyon car, I think perfect canyon car. Maybe for track duty, especially at sea level, maybe better off with a Miata. But uh, still a wonderful little thing to drive. I'm always amazed at how good a car we get these days. And I'm surprised actually that the turbocharged 124 Spider was a little bit slower on our track than the Miata. I thought for sure the turbocharger was going to take it. Softer suspension. That's that's what did it. It just wasn't as direct. So I think my mid corner speed, which actually makes a bigger difference in in lap time than horsepower. Remember that cornering speed makes a bigger difference in lap time than horsepower. The Miata had an advantage. Nice. Well, you can go back to TFLcar.com for a lot more hot on that episodes. We've tested a lot of cars on this track. We have and come back. Actually, you can go to imimotorsports.com yep. and bring your car here and actually try this track for yourself.